Sitting on the northeast shoulder of South America is the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Meaning land of many waters, Guyana is the southernmost English-speaking state of the Caribbean community. It is one of the world's most pristine natural habitats and has one of the highest levels of biodiversity. But the Guyanese population of 800,000 also has riches that, until now, have remained hidden, offshore. To understand Guyana's present-day opportunity, we need to travel back through the mists of time to over 250 million years ago, when our world looked very different. The supercontinent of Pangaea was being pulled apart into the land masses of North America, South America, Eurasia, and Africa. A part of the new ocean that was created is the Guyana Basin. And it is here that the ground was laid for today's exploration success. The Berbice Submarine Canyon, as big as the famous Grand Canyon, provided a highway for sediments flowing into the deeper ocean. Thousands of cubic kilometers of sand were deposited in the Guyana Basin. Some of these sands were destined to become the host rock of the modern-day Lisa Field. The reservoir sands were then covered by more than 3,000 meters of sealing muds. Slowly, over millions of years, oil, created by the cooking of marine organic matter, migrated into the porous sandstone. Then, in the 21st century, 3D seismic illuminated its existence. Exploration was then intensified to further understand the potential of the Guyana Basin. With its partners, ExxonMobil undertook its largest ever proprietary 3D seismic survey. The Lisa One Exploration Well discovered high-quality oil trapped in the pores of the sandstone. A year later, a second well, Lisa Two, helped to confirm the size of the Lisa discovery, estimated to be between 800 million and 1.4 billion barrels of oil equivalent. The oil-bearing sands are buried some 3,600 meters under the seabed in a water depth of approximately 1,700 meters. The Lisa field lies around 200 kilometers from Georgetown in the Stabrook block. The initial phase of the field development plan calls for two drill centers linked back to a floating production, storage, and offloading vessel, or FPSO. Around 17 wells will be drilled into the reservoirs. About half of these are production wells, taking the precious hydrocarbons up to the surface. The other half are water and gas injection wells. As the reservoir is depleted, the pressure drops. Water and gas injection helps to maintain pressure and maximize oil recovery. The technology used here will set an industry record for deep water gas injection. Umbilical lines provide real-time control of the subsea installation from the surface and deliver fluids to encourage the flow of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons travel from the trees through manifolds and into flow lines before risers take the fluids from the seabed up to the FPSO. The FPSO is a floating industrial complex, continually separating water and gas from the oil, and is capable of storing 1.6 million barrels. Tankers visit to export Guyana's first oil to market. 
By the middle of 2020, the Lisa Field plans will have become a reality. The development will keep delivering its valuable commodity over a further two decades, providing a new source of prosperity for the people of Guyana.